Welcome to the site of Knock Railway Station, the fourth station on the old BCDR main line and the last station in Belfast before we head out into the country. I'll start my exploration at the pedestrian crossing, looking towards Dundonald with the police headquarters just over my right shoulder. This was the same scene at the turn of the last century, with the Hillfoot Road, later the Knock Road, and so narrow as to be almost invisible, a mere white stripe in the foreground at the level crossing gates. And this is what country-bound engine drivers who had just left Needles Hill half a mile back would see. And if I cross the road, I take the same path. Across the road, just back from where I've come, I do notice this rather pleasant cottage. Although I can't prove it, surely this has got to be something to do with the railway. Perhaps a level crossing keeper's cottage. Anyway, if I join the Greenway on the Dundonald side and then turn to my left, I'm standing on the site of the station house, looking towards Tile House and what I presume was the perimeter of the station master's garden. If I keep going towards the King's Road, before long I find the remnants of the old city-bound platform on my left, much more intact and much longer than its brother up the road at Needles Hill, and more of the same type of perimeter fencing, which I assume is original, behind. If I somewhat unsteadily clamber up, I can compare the view with this angle, not often seen, from a 1926 Northern Whig photo of the station. Interestingly, the White House across the tracks was on the site of New Market Lodge stables, as I said in my Bloomfield and Needles Hill videos, East Belfast was still pretty rural when the railway opened and horses were still stapled here until I think the 1930s. And that wasn't the only wildlife being safely stowed away in those days. Meanwhile, I've crossed the old track and I'm standing on the city bound platform. I think this is an original colour photo taken in the 1940s. I'm not sure what happened to the bridge in the background, whether it was demolished or just filled in, but whatever is there still carries the Kings Road traffic and the Greenway now snakes its way up to the top to meet it. So I'll work my way up there. But before I do, I look back down the old track towards the Knock Road. The platforms are still alongside me here, which shows how long they were and still are, so I can compare it to this view. Take note of the waiting shed a bit further along the city bound platform on the left of the photo. In the meantime, I've made my way to the King's Road and the top of the old bridge. If I turn around, I'm standing on the same spot where this photo was taken in, I presume, the 1920s or 30s. It also looks as though passengers could access the countrybound platform from the King's Road using the footpath on the right. As with the rest of the East Belfast and North Down stations that were given the chop in 1950, the station fell into disrepair after closure at a rather rapid rate. It then suffered the further indignity of hosting the auction of most of the railway's old assets in 1955, a bit like being asked to pay for its own funeral. In this photo, interested parties peruse the lots with what remains of the waiting shed on the city-bound platform behind them, already in ruins, although it's only been out of action for five years. That's it for another episode. Sadly, that's the last of the Greenway stations as I've covered them all. So my next station of choice will be out in the County Down countryside somewhere, possibly in the direction of Donica Day, although I make no promises. Tune in next time, and as ever, please like, comment, or even better, subscribe if you want to see where I end up next. See you then.